Hey there, crazy kids. I am the Good Old Gamer, and I just wanted to uh, let you guys in on all of the new updates for Minecraft. 1.1 has been released today, apparently. Uh, they decided to do that while I was at work, so I couldn't play it yet. But um, anyways, I was looking over the uh, version history here on the Minecraft wiki just to see what updates were going on, and some of them are pretty interesting, so I thought I'd just uh, list them here for you. Um, I'll provide a link in the description of this video to the version history page if you're interested in 1.1 and all the previous other updates. Um, but anyways, here's what 1.1 added. Added enchantments to bows, so I guess you can enchant your bows now. Uh, new golden apple recipe, instead of using gold blocks, you can now use gold nuggets. And of course, gold nuggets you get from the pigmen in the nether. I believe, unless that's changed. Uh, 56 new language translations, including fictional ones such as pirate. That sounds interesting. So if you're from a country other than an English-speaking one, or if English is not your native language, now you can change Minecraft into possibly your own native language. That's cool. Um, slightly smooth color transitions between biomes. That's nice, I guess. Added beaches, so I guess there'll be more sand around the non-desert biomes. Uh, biomes are slightly more varied, that's always cool. Reduced brewing time to 20 seconds, that's for potions, which I never use, so whatever. But um, Added spawn eggs to creative mode, which is cool because I've, I've seen this in some of the pre-release footage that uh, when you go into creative mode you can use these eggs to spawn pretty much every mob in the game, which is pretty neat. Especially for those making, I suppose, uh, adventure maps and all that. It's pretty cool. Um, added a world type option, uh, but there's only the regular worlds and the new super flat worlds, which I don't really get the point of super flat worlds, I guess, unless you're going to be in creative mode and building something really big. But uh, super flat modes are basically just plain flat worlds that are like two blocks above bedrock or something it's just really it's I, I don't know the point I guess it's just for creative building I imagine um, removed collision box from ladders so ladders are supposed to be easier to get on and off of of course removing the collision box means that you can't stand on top of them anymore so some adventure maps or parkour maps or whatever are gonna be out of date now but whatever Sheep eat grass, converting them to dirt, and then regain their wool again. So that's awesome. Re sheep will regain their wool as long as they're on top of grass, which is neat. And sheep only drop one to three wool per shearing, but since they regrow, regrow their wool, um, you can get plenty more wool per sheep. Uh, fixed collision box on fence gates. And fence gates can now be opened and closed with redstone, so that's handy. Hopefully that means pressure plates too. Um, walking on crops no longer tramples them, so you can walk on your wheat and stuff and it doesn't matter. Uh, I assume running or jumping on them will still trample them though. But it's neat that walking doesn't. Um, especially for the other mobs that go through. Uh, magma cubes now drop magma cream. Whatever that means. Uh, Leaves now have a slight chance of dropping red apples. Check that out. Now now that the uh, golden apple is somewhat easier to get as long as you get to the nether and kill pigmen um, with the golden nuggets, you can also get regular red apples from leaves. Very slight chance, apparently, of getting it, but it's there. NPC villages now spawn treasure chests in blacksmith shops. Isn't that nice? That'll be fun. I want to I want to get a new NPC village. Just check that out and see what kind of treasure has that. Um, melons and pumpkins can now grow on dirt instead of just farmland. This is a big plus. This should have been the way it was from the very beginning since you could grow melons and pumpkins, really. Um, now you don't have to till your ground underneath the melons or pumpkins, which will be handy, especially right now for people like Mind Fiend. Um, who have farms working already. So that's very handy. And then of course there's the usual bug fixes. Fixed an achievement, fixed 
power rail non-depowering bug, fixed power wheel, power rail failure to update on placement bug, uh, and apparently the only re reported bug so far is a major crash in the loading screen for some users, so keep an eye on that, I guess. Um, but overall, a very good update. Um, some of the stuff I don't use, but the updates that needed to be put in have been put in. I mean, you can uh, grow melons and pumpkins on regular dirt. Walking on crops no longer tramples them. That's nice. Uh, and fence gates can be open and closed with redstone. For me, I hope that's pressure plates because I don't really use redstone. But um, Sheep regrow their wool. Fix the collision box on fence gates. Uh, fix the collision box on ladders. So a lot of this stuff is really handy. Added beaches will be nice for those of us who end up in biomes other than desert biomes. Um, golden apple recipe is now easier to use, which it should have been from the very beginning. I don't know why it originally had gold blocks to go around an apple. That was just ridiculous. Who would ever have that? Um, but now you only need gold nuggets. It still requires getting to the nether and killing pigmen, which isn't always particularly easy, but it's at least easier than getting gold blocks. That was that was ridiculous. And um, enchantments to bows for those of you who use enchantments. So that's handy. So yeah, there you go. It's, it seems to be a fairly good update. Like I said, I just got home from work, so I haven't had time to check it out personally and play it in the game. But I'm looking forward to that. But I just thought uh, you guys would like to know all of the de details for the update for Minecraft. So... Well, again, I'll put the link in the description so you can see it for yourself if you want. And uh, thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the good old gamer, and this is just a random sort of Minecrafty update vlog, I guess. And uh, I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye for now.